Thanks for tuning in today. If you're looking for the latest data and insights for the data science field but don't have time for a 45-minute webinar, this video shares Birchworks' top findings from our 2017 Data Science Salary Study, including updated salaries, bonuses, demographics, and hiring market insights. Before we get into the data, let's make sure we're on the same page about who we're talking about. What experience, background, and skills does a typical data scientist have? How does this compare to predictive analytics? At Birchworks, we think about data scientists and predictive analytics professionals as two groups. Both analyze data to derive insights and prescribe action for the organization based on what they find. They both have quantitative skills like modeling. The main differentiator here is that data scientists' work focuses on using unstructured or streaming data, while those in predictive analytics use structured data. As a result, data scientists have a computer science or coding and programming skill set in order to manage this unstructured or streaming data that most traditional predictive analytics professionals don't have. Many data scientists have formal training, meaning a master's or PhD, in a quantitative or computer science oriented area like mathematics, statistics, computer science, or engineering. Lately, experience with non-traditional programs like boot camps or MOOCs has been climbing. Data scientists use many tools to accomplish their work, such as mainstays like R, Python, Hadoop, and Spark. As we define them, data scientists don't include software developers, traditional predictive modelers, MBAs, BI, or IT folks. Next, let's talk about our demographic findings this year, what a typical data scientist looks like. Data science continues to be a very young profession. 37% of data scientists have fewer than five years of experience, and two-thirds have fewer than 10 years. Data scientists are very highly educated. Overall, nearly nine out of 10 have a graduate degree. When you compare data scientists to predictive analytics professionals working with structured data, there is a much higher prevalence of PhDs among data scientists. About 40% of them hold a PhD, while only 17% of those in analytics do. Data scientists tend to study math or statistics, engineering, or computer science while in school. Overall, 36% of data scientists are foreign born which, if you're looking to hire one, presents a compelling case for being open to visa candidates, especially at the junior end, where over 40% of professionals with zero to three years experience are on some type of visa. 40% of data scientists live on the West Coast, and another 28% live in the Northeast. For companies in the Mountain, Midwest, and Southeast regions, location can make hiring tricky, so think about what else your organization brings to the table that might be enticing to candidates. Technology firms continue to be the largest employers of data scientists, accounting for over 40% of them. Financial services and marketing and advertising rank at a distant second and third place. Overall, only 15% of data scientists are female, and this has remained pretty steady over the four years that we've been releasing our studies. As you can see, the gender balance changes considerably as one advances up the career ladder, from 20% female among early career professionals down to 4% at the executive leadership level within data science. Now, let's dig into salary trends. As you can see from this comparison between 2016 and 2017 salaries for individual contributors, overall salaries are fairly level. Interestingly, for individuals with zero to three years experience who typically have the biggest percentage increase in base salaries, salaries actually decrease this year for the first time, possibly due to the influx of junior level data scientists thanks to the big data hype. For managers, median base salaries either held steady or increased slightly. As more data science groups are being formed, the demand for leaders has grown and since the leadership pool is already rather small, this pushes salaries upward. Here you can see salaries for data science managers categorized by how many direct reports they have. Here you can see how many data scientists working with unstructured or streaming data continue to earn higher base salaries than predictive analytics professionals working with structured data at each career level. 
This is likely because of the specialized skills that data scientists have, namely deeper computer science training and the fact that data scientists are more likely to have a PhD. We also found some other interesting trends. As we first pointed out last year, the percentage of data scientists with zero to three years experience who have a master's degree continues to increase, with the percentage of PhDs decreasing. This may be because junior professionals are choosing terminal master's programs as a faster route to the workplace, and they're making use of new education options, like boot camps, MOOCs, or in-house training to pick up additional skills. However, data scientists who hold a PhD still earn higher base salaries than those of the masters, especially for individual contributors. As our previous studies have shown, data scientists on the West Coast continue to earn the highest base salaries, followed by those in the Northeast. At almost every level, data scientists at tech companies tend to earn higher base salaries than those in other industries. The notable exception is individual contributors with zero to three years experience, who tech companies are generally able to attract without paying salary premiums. So here's a recap of the major demographic insights we found. First, 41% of data scientists hold PhDs, and 49% hold a master's degree. 68% work and live on the coasts, and 41% are employed by tech companies. 36% of data scientists are foreign born, and 15% of them are female. And here's a recap of the major compensation trends we found. Base salaries shifted only by single digit percentage points. Data scientists out earn others in analytics. The highest salaries are paid on the coast, and tech and gaming data scientists tend to earn more than those in other industries. And finally, data scientists who hold a PhD earn higher salaries than those who do not. So what's our advice if you're trying to find and hire these elusive unicorns? First, if you're looking to hire a data science leader, while it's important to find deep technical knowledge, it's even more critical to evaluate whether this person has the ability to influence senior leadership. A data evangelist who can make partnerships cross-functionally is critical to the success of your data science team. Next, your ability to sponsor or transfer visas will provide you with access to the entire data science talent pool, especially at the junior end. Remember that the availability of talent within data science is very limited. You'll likely need to figure out where you can compromise. The reporting structure for your team can affect whether data scientists feel that their work is valued or not. Marketing and strategy are common, but if your data science team reports up through IT, prepare for a challenging search. A data scientist might question an organization's understanding of their work if the team is placed alongside functions like business intelligence or data warehousing, which are very different from data science. Keep in mind that data scientists have options, so sell your opportunity to your data science prospects. They are likely considering multiple career choices. The hiring manager should stay in touch during the interviewing process and offer to answer any questions or get into more details or examples of projects and priorities at your company. Whether or not an organization offers access to the latest tools and technology can be a deal breaker for many data scientists when they're considering career options. Offer opportunities to learn, maybe through outside seminars or conferences, or perhaps in-house training. If you're looking to add to your data science staff, we'd be happy to speak with you and do some brainstorming. We offer contingency and retained services from entry-level data scientists all the way up to chief data scientist roles. Feel free to send an email to info at birchworks.com if you'd like to learn more about what we offer. For those of you who don't already know us, Birchworks is an executive recruiting firm. We specialize in the placement of quantitative business professionals who typically work in analytics, data science, and market research. Our network is massive tens of thousands of analytics, data science, and insights professionals across the U.S. We work with clients ranging from Fortune 50 corporations to growing startups. Our comprehensive salary reports for predictive analytics, data science, and marketing research professionals can all be downloaded for free at birchworks.com study. Whether you're hiring data scientists or looking for new opportunities yourself, 
send us a message at info at birchworks.com to learn more. Thanks for joining us today, and be sure to check out some of the other videos on the Birchworks YouTube channel. We've got lots of resources for both hiring authorities and for professionals looking to plan their quantitative careers. See you next time.